So this event is about the relationship between a fader move and an ox send. The scenario is, oxys 11 and 12 here are feeding a couple of infill speakers or a little speaker at the back of the hall for a sound effect in the theater. So um, I'm gonna fade up here the audio to those speakers. And as I fade up, the aux sends are in post fade. Okay, and as I get up towards zero, I want these speakers to change because I know at zero dB on the send, um, that's as much as they can get to without distortion. But I might need to push a little bit more in the main PA, which is fed from these faders. So I'm pushing up the faders, we're coming in, on, we're fading in together because these are in post fade. So as I get up to zero, they will flip over to pre fade send because I don't want these sends to go any louder than zero dB. As I pull it back down to zero on the faders, they go back to post and I fade it back down. Okay, so fade up, in post, pass zero to pre, I can push a little bit more in the main PA if I need to, and as I pull it back down, they go to post for the fade out, fade down, and, and stop mute. Okay, let's have a look at how we did that. The aux pre-post event. I've created an event, I've called it aux11 pre-post for my own reference so I can see what this event does. The trigger for that event is any channel fader above zero dB. That means when I push a fader up above zero dB, any channel fader, there will be an action. And the action in this case will be the triggered strip will, will turn aux11 from a pre to post state or post to pre state while active. Okay, so let me show you where to find these this trigger and, and action. So I'll delete first the trigger. This one's really simple. It's it's an above. Continue control continuous above. It's any channel fader above zero dB. It's actually the default. So here's the action. I'm gonna delete that first. It's a switch, so it's set control switch because it's a it's a so one zero type thing, it's a pre-post or an on-off, but so it's a, it's a switch. Again, it's a trigger strip. The default is mute, but that's not what I want. I want to go to here, to the aux pre-post, and choose number 11. The default is latch, I want that to be well active. That means when the fader goes above zero, it goes from post to pre. And when it comes below zero, it comes back from pre to post. Okay, so there's my Aux pre-post event.